Hello and welcome to the Art of Surgery Surgical Tips. Today we're going to talk about the anterior talofibular ligament, the ATA ligament and its anatomical location. So let's begin by showing you a little clip of the anatomy of the lateral ankle. Let's review the lateral ankle ligaments. There are four ligaments that we're concerned with. The first one is the anterior talofibular ligament. This is the longest ligament. It originates from the anterior margin of the fibula and it goes forward into the neck of the talus. Because the anterior talofibular ligament is so long, it is the one that becomes injured the most often. That's why when the patient is in your office, this is the area that you want to palpate. The next ligament that we want to talk about is the lateral talocalcaneal ligament. This short little ligament originates just below the articular facet on the lateral aspect of the talus and it comes down just to the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. It seldom gets injured because in an injury it moves along with the foot. Now the lateral talocalcaneal ligament is covered by the calcaneal fibular ligament which extends posteriorly in this manner. The calcaneal fibular ligament is the second one to get injured in any ankle injury. The last ligament I want to talk about is the posterior talofibular ligament and it almost goes horizontal from the posterior aspect of the fibula to the little tuberosity on the talus. The posterior talofibular ligament is as a rule the last one to get injured and usually when it is injured usually there will be a malleolar fracture. Now it's important while we have all the ligaments here is that they look very very pretty but in reality, as you will see when we do the surgery and later on when we show you some actual pictures, they don't look anything like this. It is almost like an aponeurosis. And please also notice how close the ligaments are to the sinus tarsi. When we start making incisions and when we start cutting these ligaments, it is important for us to stay very close to the lateral malleolus. If we go even a centimeter down here, we'll be in the sinus tarsi, which is no problem. We just have to come back to the right area. But there's a very close proximity here. Here on the lateral aspect of the foot, we could see the belly of extensor digitorum brevis, the lateral malleolus, the peroneal tendons, the intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerve, which by the way is the only nerve that you could see through the skin, and finally the small depression that is the anatomical landmark of the ATF ligament. Notice that your thumb will fit perfectly in the ATF depression. Now that we've reviewed the anatomy a little bit, let's see if we could find that anatomical landmark on a real patient. Now, this little bulk that you see, could you move your toes please? You can see the little bulk here, that's the extensor deutorum brevis. The lateral malleolus, this is the tuberosity of the fifth, and back here you have the peroneal tendons. And you see this little indentation there that you could actually put your thumb. Your thumb fits in there when the area is not swollen. That's called the impression or the, uh, of, of the ATF ligament. Now, the ligaments themselves are not like I showed you in the drawing uh, uh, just a little bit back. Uh, the ligaments, we say there are four of them, but more than being four individual little ligaments, they're an aponeurosis. And what you do feel here is the anterior margin of that aponeurosis, right here, you could feel the anterior talofibular ligament. Now that ligament actually comes from the anterior aspect of the uh, lateral malleolus and it goes forward into the head or to the, of the, of the talus. And because it is so longer, any time that you have inversion, that's why it breaks. And so when the patient comes in and you have swollenness here, the, the area is swollen, then you could almost be sure that you have some injury to that ligament. And the nice thing about doing extremity work is that you can compare one foot with the other foot. Then also we have to say a little caveat is that as we get older, uh, there's a deposition of fatty tissue here, particularly in women. And sometimes that fatty tissue collects and becomes a, a little, fib uh, a, a little uh, uh, lipoma. I almost forgot the name of it. It's a lipoma and which you could take out. But the nice thing about this is that once you know where the ligament is at and the patient tells you I have an ankle pain, you could just actually pinpoint it. And you do this by 
pressing down just anterior to the lateral malleolus and moving the foot back and forth and you could feel it. One other thing that I should tell you, when I was going to school, uh, physical diagnosis was one of the biggest classes that we had. Those were the days before we had MRIs and three-dimensional uh, 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 ultrasound. But if you're a good diagnostician, you could pick up an awful lot of things um, uh, in, in, in the foot just by looking at it. And it makes common sense why you have more lateral ankle injuries than you do medial because you could invert the foot more and you cannot evert the foot as much. Secondly, the fibula itself is made up of a fibula, the talus, uh, and the tibia. Where in on the medial side you have a projection of I'm sorry I hope I didn't hurt you uh, you have a projection of the medial uh, malleolus I have one of my nurses here she's absolutely beautiful and very smart and I don't want to hurt her but the projection of the medial malleolus gives you much more stability and I've often said that we should have our um, uh, our lateral ligaments should be on the medial aspect and the deltoid the two layers of the deltoid should be in here once in a while you could pick up in here, if you could see it, see that little thing there? It's the intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerve. That's the only nerve that you could see uh, 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 through the skin. So again, when that patient comes in, the depression for the ATF ligament is right here. And it's, it's a no-brainer. One more thing about lateral ankles that, I, that you should remember. When that patient comes in, if you take an anterior view of that uh, x-ray, you will not see the lateral gutter. You have to put the foot at 15 uh, degrees when they're standing so you can see the, the uh, lateral gutter of the, of, the, uh, of the mortise, of the ankle mortise. And you pick up a lot of fibrosis in there and sometimes a lot of chip fractures. Well, let's go back to the studio. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that presentation of the anatomical la landmark of the ATF ligament. It's something you could use in your clinics almost every day. Remember when you visit our site at theartofsurgery.org that we have a couple of wonderful programs on the lateral ankle stabilization and the correction of a ruptured deltoid ligament. For The Art of Surgery, I'm Oe Mercado. Thank you for watching.